Microsoft has just unleashed a game changer, Orca 2. Move over GPT-4, because Orca 2 is here to revolutionize complex reasoning tasks and natural language communication. Stick around as we explore what makes Orca 2 the new AI genius and why it might just outshine its bigger competitors. Background Let's rewind a bit to a few months ago when Microsoft introduced Orca, a super smart language model with a whopping 13 billion parameters. It was like the brainiac of the AI world, acing all those complex reasoning tasks. But hold on to your seats because Microsoft has hit us with the newest version in their mission to crack the code of smaller language models. Now, Orca 2 comes in two flavors, one with 7 billion parameters and the other with 13 billion. And guess what? It's proving that in the AI game, size isn't the only thing that matters training strategies. Now, let's take a closer look at how Microsoft pulled off the magic trick of making Orca 2 the David against the Goliaths of AI models. The secret sauce? Training. And Microsoft sure knows how to whip up a good recipe. So, they didn't just throw Orca 2 into the deep end of the AI pool and hope for the best. No, they carefully crafted a plan that involves using a variety of smart thinking methods. They played around with different ways of reasoning, kind of like giving Orca 2 a toolbox full of problem-solving techniques. It's not just about having one trick up your sleeve, it's about being a jack-of-all-trades in the world of AI. Imagine Orca 2 as a problem-solving Swiss army knife, equipped with the ability to tackle questions in different ways. From the meticulous step-by-step -step processing, where Orca 2 carefully dissects complex problems, to the lightning-fast direct answers that cut through the noise, it's about giving Orca 2 an arsenal of strategies. It's like having a superhero that can adapt to any situation, making it more than just a one-trick pony in the AI circus. But that's not all. They also cooked up some synthetic datasets tailored to Orca 2's taste buds. It's like preparing a special menu just for our little AI buddy. These datasets weren't just random. They were designed to teach Orca to the ropes of various strategies. Think of it like a crash course in AI excellence. Microsoft didn't just grab any old data. They custom-tailored synthetic datasets that act as the playground for Orca 2's intellectual growth. It's like crafting a curriculum specifically designed to teach Orca 2 the ropes of various challenges it might encounter in the real world. Now here's where it gets interesting. Microsoft didn't leave Orca 2 to figure it all out on its own. Oh no, they brought in the big guns, large teacher models with loads of experience. It's like having the AI equivalent of a wise mentor. Orca 2 got lessons in everything from breaking problems into steps to giving straight up direct answers. The idea? To level the playing field and let smaller models flex the same brain muscles usually reserved for their larger cousins. These aren't just any teachers. They're the sages of the AI world. Think of them as the Gandalfs, guiding Orca 2 through the intricacies of reasoning strategies. It's not just about learning facts. It's about absorbing the wisdom of those who've been there done that, why go through all this trouble? The goal is monumental, to equip Orca 2 with the same reasoning artillery as its larger counterparts. It's not just about making a model that's good, it's about making a model that's great. Microsoft's training approach is like a symphony, each element playing a crucial role in creating a harmonious blend of intelligence. Performance evaluation. Now, Let's talk results, because Microsoft didn't just talk the talk, they walked the walk with Orca 2. They didn't rely on mere words, they threw Orca 2 into the AI Olympics, and the scores are in. Using 15 different tests that cover a range of challenges, and over a whopping 36,000 individual scenarios, Microsoft gave Orca 2 a real workout. Imagine it like an AI obstacle course. And you know what? Orca 2 didn't just clear the hurdles, it aced the whole darn thing. They specifically checked how Orca 2 handled itself in what they call zero-shot settings. That's like putting Orca 2 in situations it has never seen before and asking it to shine. And guess what? Shine it did. Orca 2 not only outperformed models of similar size, but it also went head-to-head -head with models that are at least 10 times larger. That's like a small car going toe-to-toe -to -toe with a truck and still holding its ground. Now, if that's not impressive, I don't know what is. But what were these benchmarks testing, you ask? Well, they covered everything from understanding language to common sense reasoning, math problem solving, and even sniffing out toxic content. It's like Orca 2 went through a comprehensive AI boot camp and aced every drill. Now, remember when I mentioned models 10 times larger? Yeah, Orca 2 didn't just compete, it matched or even outperformed them. Think of it like the little engine that could, chugging along and showing that it's not about the size of the model in the fight, it's about the fight in the model. So, when we say Orca 2 is impressive, it's not just a bold claim. It's backed up by hard data, real challenges, and a stellar performance that proves Microsoft isn't just playing around in the AI game, they're rewriting the rules limitations, and risks. Now let's zoom in on these quirks, because understanding them is like having a user manual for our AI companion, Orca 2. Microsoft's keeping it real with us, 
and transparency is the name of the game. Biases. Let's delve into this concept. Consider Orca 2 as a student who has shown a preference for a specific academic subject, perhaps leaning heavily towards science. In this analogy, if Orca 2's knowledge is predominantly shaped by science, it may inadvertently view and interpret information with a biased inclination towards scientific principles. To mitigate this, Microsoft proposes a strategic approach akin to diversifying Orca 2's academic curriculum. The recommendation is to expose the AI model to a spectrum of subjects, encouraging it to explore different perspectives. This strategy mirrors the academic principle of a well-rounded education, where a student takes elective courses in various disciplines to cultivate a comprehensive understanding. Moving on to the topic of context. While Orca 2 stands out as a knowledgeable entity in the realm of AI, it does not possess mind-reading capabilities. Similar to a situation where a friend might join a movie halfway through and miss the initial plot points, Orca the 2nd of May encounters scenarios where it requires additional information to comprehend the full context. In practical terms, envision Orca 2 as a highly intelligent conversationalist who, despite its vast knowledge, benefits from a bit of background information to enhance its understanding. The analogy of a movie recap aligns with the idea that providing Orca 2 with supplementary details is akin to filling in the narrative gaps for someone who arrived late to a film. Microsoft's guidance here is clear. By offering a helping hand, providing that quick recap, users can optimize and extract the best performance from Orca 2's cognitive capabilities. In essence, contextual awareness becomes a collaborative effort, with users playing a pivotal role in ensuring Orca 2 receives the necessary context to deliver accurate and insightful responses. Microsoft's recommendation underscores the notion that, much like any intelligent companion, Orca 2's effective is heightened when equipped with the complete background information relevant to the conversation or inquiry at hand. And last, there's the content cautions. This doesn't involve constraining Orca 2, but rather focuses on preempting unintended content-related issues. Microsoft adopts a metaphorical stance as the amiable older sibling, offering a friendly reminder to maintain a relaxed approach and sidestep any potential disruptions caused by inadvertent content generation. To elaborate, liken the scenario to having a reliable and experienced older sibling. In this case, Microsoft advising users on how to ensure Orca 2's interactions remain positive and constructive in the digital realm. The emphasis is on cultivating responsible usage to avoid any unintentional content-related hiccups that may arise during interactions with Orca 2. Orca 2 is a milestone in the quest to enhance the capabilities of smaller language models. Microsoft's strategic training methods and the use of tailored synthetic data have propelled Orca 2 to new heights. While it has its limitations, its potential for future advancements is undeniable. That's a wrap on Microsoft's Orca 2, the AI genius shaking up the game. As we continue to push the boundaries of AI, Orca 2 stands as a testament to the possibilities of smaller models. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more updates on the latest AI breakthroughs. Until next time,